Welcome to Catherine the Paint. Today I am using this feather mold. For the first time, I'm going to do it three ways. So this will take me several days to do because it has to dry for four, 24 hours between. So on this first one, I am using this Bondi Blue Color Obsession. It's a Bondi Blue Shimmer. And just putting enough in there to make it barely blue and shimmery. And then I have painted with a paintbrush, I painted on um, some, uh, what do you call it, interference, gold, so um, it'll be gold and then it'll also have the shimmery blue. So I am just starting to fill up the mold and using a little stick to carefully Make sure it's all the way down in there. I'm just learning how to use this mold actually because they're all different and I haven't ever had one that's like this before. So it's different. So much fun. I couldn't decide one way to do it. It's a hundred thousand ways you could do this. So I just picked three to show you guys and I will be doing it other ways but I thought if I just went ahead and got you three of them out of the box and you would see what this mold is like over learning curves because I did make mistakes <laughs> as you will see as we go along so alright here we go I've got that done and now we are going to demold all right, it is time for demolding. This is the first feather. feather first feather trinket tray. <laughs> so excited. Not sure how you get it out of this mold though. It's been 12 hours. Loosen up the sides. I think I'm going to go with this end first. Goodness. Hmm. Okay, it was not thick enough right here, so it ripped. Great. I wonder if I could just put it back in and put another coat, put some more on top of it. What do you think? Since it's still not out yet. Hmm. It's definitely not being gentle on the mold. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, so on these, lesson learned, you need to make sure this is all the way up to the top of this slip. And, <coughs> Needs to be fully cured before you take it out, I think. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try putting some resin just in this lip part and try to heal that part right there. So we will see how that turns out. This is a learning experience. All right, we we'll back. Okay, welcome back, and it is time for our second feather trinket tray. So I have mixed up some resin already, and this is the KS resin again. Um, so I have some clear with some 
gold glitter in it. I have some gold, the Secura brand gold. And I bought this off of Amazon and it's a whole set of a whole bunch of different colors. It was like 20 bucks, a little less than 20 bucks on Amazon and has an array of colors. So it's a good place to start as a starter kit. So then you have a lot of colors to play with and you can do a lot of things with it. And then as you get more into resin, because it's addictive, then you're going to want to buy some more custom colors and custom resins and pastes and all that. This is from a powder. So then I have some white mixed up from the Casting Craft. It's an opaque pigment. You shake it up before you use it. And this is the um, Jacquard Pinata Blanco Blanco alcohol ink. I use both of these together. This is about a half an ounce and I used um, three drops of this and two drops of this. So that'll give you an idea. So this is, oh no. Now see, I made a mess already. Bummer. <laughs> All right, well we are gonna get a glove on. I had ripped my left glove when I was trying to get the, one of the glitters open. So anyway, here we go. We're gonna pick this up and put it in here. Just don't want to waste the resin. Hmm. It's gonna be really messy. Yeah, try not to spill it everywhere, guys. It's really not the way a good way to start. <laughs> so I was just gonna start by pouring some of this in to this mold. So I want it on all ends, both ends in the middle. I want it to go down to the edge of the feather. So I wanted it to have some clear, which is sparkly on it. All right. Now, I'm gonna more purposefully pour it in here. Get some on both ends. Some in the middle. All right. Now I am going to drizzle in some of my white. This is totally an experiment. I didn't even know how this is going to turn out, but I won't know until I try it. So, so I'm just going to go for it. So I'm kind of going along with the V on the how the feather is. And then get some down in that tip. Hopefully it'll flow down, but not all flow down. Then I'm gonna add some gold resin. Don't be afraid to play around and you'll get different results with different techniques and then you'll find out what you like the best and you might even find a whole new technique. All right. All right, so some of the things that I learned about this mold from the lap first go round is that it has to be full completely to the top or this area is too thin. So when you try to take it out, it will rip, or even if you let it harden hard, it'll still be really, really thin, so it's not, doesn't look really good, so. Sure. Hmm. I'm going to make sure that this is going all the way 
to the end in that little the feather quill part so I'm just gently not scraping this against the silicone just gently pushing it in there so So you're wanting to let it settle and then put add more and then settle and then add more because otherwise we don't get it all the way to the top. I'm going to use the stick and make sure it's going all the way down there to the top of the feather. I don't want to mix it too much because I want my white to stand out a little bit. But all right, so I have this the clear with the glitter. I'm gonna put it in here. All right. Now I'm gonna use my heat gun just to pop the bubbles a little bit. I'm gonna do this on low, and then I'm gonna come back in a few minutes and do it again and add a little bit more to the top after it's settled. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes, okay? I'll be right back, guys. All right, it's been a couple minutes and I am going to use the stick to try to make sure there's resin all the way in here. I think there is. All right. Okay. So now I am going to add a little more of the clear because you've got to get this all the way to the top where it's too thin on the bottom of your trinket tray. So pop the bubbles one more time. I think it is looking good. It's to the top. So we will demold it tomorrow and see how it goes. <laughs> All right, here it is. It's ready to be demolded. This is feather number two. I think we will do one more in this series, hopefully. Um, possibly in blues. Maybe a purple thrown in there, I'm not sure. Definitely blues. Just going around loosening it up. All right, so I think I will do this in first. Seems like it would be the easiest. I don't know what I did last time. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, straighten the mold. All right, looks good. All right, let's flip it over. Y'all ready? Drum roll, please. Woohoo! That is fun. 
I really like it. That's cool. Maybe I should have been a little less clear before I started putting in the color, but it's hard to gauge. But I like how it's not completely even. And I like the, the glitter on the edges. Makes it interesting. Cool. All right. Um, let's bring you in for a close-up. All right. So now we are going to do feather number three. So we will see. I have, I'm going to do it in blues this time. So I've got a midnight blue. So it looks like this. It's a paste and it's just resin. And this is just resin, um, turquoise luster. So I'm going to do those two colors and I'm going to do some clear. And I'm kind of going to drizzle it in there, drizzle it in there because I want the colors to mix, but I also want clear on top to push it different ways. So. Let's just play around and see how that's going to turn out. There's a thousand ways, a thousand different ways you could do these with different colors, paste powders, different style, different interference or whatever, but so I had to pick some. So I'm just going for it. So this is the midnight color. This is the turquoise luster. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of clear. Just zigzagging it back and forth. With this mold, you have to kind of go slow and let it go down because you have to fill it up completely to the top where you don't have the base that the trinket tray is like gonna sit on if you don't let it go to the complete top. Otherwise you get weak spots in the middle. So I guess maybe a little bit more midnight. I don't know. Not I think I want too much more of the midnight. That's enough of that. All right. I did let my resin sit for just a little bit before I started pouring it in here, so there's very few bubbles in there, so hopefully we won't get a lot of bubbles. Alright, let's use the heat gun. We're just going to put it on low and make sure we get rid of any bubbles, and then we're going to see how full it is. Uh, I'm not plugged in. Hold on just a second. Okay, I've actually been doing a really good job of unplugging things and not leaving it unplugged in. But then when I go to use it, it's not plugged in. So we're gonna put it on low. And I'm just warming it up to pop any bubbles that are there. I haven't had problems with this one. I've, you know, we've done two feathers and I didn't have a whole lot of problems with it. So that's good. Alright. Yeah, we still have a ways to go to make sure we get the base good. I'm just gonna Yeah, this is definitely a mold you cannot rush too much. So, still need a little bit more. All right, 
think that's going to do it. All right. One more point heat. I think we are done and I will see you in the morning for the demolding. All right, here are the close-ups of the three different feather trinket trays. Um, hmm, you can't see the gold on this one in the, in real life it's shimmering gold, so I don't know if we can get it. Well, anyway, all right, so that's the first one we did. Here is the second one we did. It has the glitter, the gold and the white. And then here is the third one with the blues. Well, this was a lot of fun. There's still a thousand more ways you could do this. <laughs> I will be playing with them to do and doing more, but this was a good start. So much fun. Thank you guys for hanging and watching and supporting. I appreciate you guys. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired.